and they were all there. Every last one of them. And they knew my name. Sarah. As I scuttled like a beetle along the backs of their chairs. and there's drama. I write for the dead, the unborn. After 4.48, I shall not speak again. Have you made any plans? Take note of those, slash my wrist, then hang myself. All those things together? Couldn't possibly be misconstrued as a cry for help. <laughs> it wouldn't yeah. work. Of course it would. It wouldn't work. Start to feel sleepy from the overdose, I wouldn't have the energy to cut your wrists. I'd be standing on a chair with a noose around my neck. If you're alone, do you think you might harm yourself? Scared I might. Could that be protective? Yes. It's fear that keeps me away from the train tracks. I just hope I got the death <coughs> of fucking end. I feel like I'm 80 years old and my mind just wants to die. That's a metaphor, not reality. It's, it's a simile. simile. That's not reality. It's, it's not, not a metaphor, metaphor. It's, it's a simile. simile. And even if it were, the refining feature of a metaphor is that it's real. You are not 80 years old. Are you? Are you? Or are you? Do you despise all unhappy people, or is it just me specifically? I don't despise you. It's not your fault. You're ill. I don't think so. No? No. I'm depressed. Depression is anger. It's what you did, who was there, and who you are blaming. And who are you blaming? Myself. At 4.48, when depression visits, I shall hang myself to the sound of my lover's breathing. I'm jealous of my lover and covet his induced unconsciousness. Sometimes, I walk past you and get a smell of you. And I can't go on. I can't fucking go on without explaining this physical so fucking awful ache and I have for you. And you feel nothing. Do you feel nothing? And I go out at six in the morning and I search for you. If I've dreamt of a message of a street, a pub, or a place, I go there and I wait for you. You know, I really feel like I'm being manipulated. Never in my life have I had a problem giving somebody else what they want. No one's ever been able to do that for me. No one touches me. No one comes near me. But you, you've touched me somewhere so fucking deep. And I can't be that for you. Because I cannot find you. Where'd I start? Where'd I stop? How'd I start? Excuse me. Don't 
Symptoms, not eating, not sleeping, not speaking, no sex drive, in despair, wants to die. Diagnosis, pathological grief. Sotralin, 50 milligrams. Insomnia worsened, severe anxiety, Anorexia, weight loss, 17 kilograms. Increase in suicidal thoughts, plans, and intention. Discontinued following hospitalization. Zopaclone, 7.5 milligrams. <coughs> Slept. Discontinued following rash. Patient attempted to leave hospital against medical advice. Strained by three male nurses twice her size. Patient threatening and uncooperative. Fuck off! Don't touch me! Paranoid thoughts. Believes hospital staff are attempting to poison her. Melaril. No, 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 no. 50 no, milligrams. No. Nephepramine, 70 milligrams, increased to 140 milligrams, then 210 milligrams. Weight gain, 12 kilograms. Short-term memory loss, no other reaction. junior doctor whom she accused of treachery after which she shaved her head and cut her arms with a razor blade. Patient discharged into the care of the community on arrival of acutely psychotic patient in emergency care clinic in greater need of a hospital bed. Citalopram, 20 milligrams. <laughs> Morning tremors, no other reaction. Please, don't cut me up to find out how I died. I'll tell you how I died. 100 lefepramine, 45 zopiclone, 25 tamazepam and 20 menaril. Everything I had swallowed, slit, hung. Please open the curtains.